This is Special Agent James A. Anderson on August 26th at approximately 10.15. I'm preparing to record a telephone conversation. Hello, Jack, you okay? Hi, is Kevin there? I was out early around 7.30 a.m. and I returned to the home around 9.30. And as you're driving down Home Street, where our house was, it's a one-way street, and I notice, oh, why is the street so packed with cars? There's cars everywhere. And then all of a sudden, crossing the street in front of me was somebody in an FBI windbreaker. I immediately looked over to my house, saw federal agents walking in and out, I looked straight forward and just kept on driving, making no eye contact with anybody. When they left, this, this guy like took me aside and got my face and was like, where's Kevin? I said, I don't know where Kevin is. And he goes, well, you tell him the message that we're after or something, you know, something ridiculous like that. I was like, okay, yeah, I'll get right on that. I just kind of laughed at him and he got really upset. He was like, you think this is funny and blah, blah, blah. And you tell Kevin we're going to get him. Like, okay. We're six activists who are indicted under federal terrorism laws. We didn't break anything, we didn't burn anything, we didn't beat anyone, uh, we didn't even so much as trespass. Our crime is doing exactly what I'm doing right now, speaking. The target of Shack was the animal testing company, Huntington Life Sciences, and companies that did business with it. Huntington Life Sciences was selected because it's a key player in the animal testing industry. They have a lot of money, a lot of power, a lot of resources, and a lot of influence. This hearing is the second hearing we've had on this subject. Stop Huntington Animal Cruelty, a radical animal rights organization that relies on a campaign of fear to convey their message of animal liberation. What we have is an international conspiracy. These are not random, isolated acts. Legitimate business enterprises are suffering. The FBI, Homeland Security, and the federal government rallied behind this company to defend them as this victim of a protest campaign and a victim that if they allowed to, to close and to shut down, that other corporations would be targeted next. Corporations get to do what they want. That's a rule in our society, effectively. We challenged the right of this corporation to exist.